you, Andy. Well, National Grid is expected to have more than 2,000 workers on the roads this weekend to help keep the electricity on in communities all across western New York. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg tells us, there are several steps you can take right now to make sure you and your family are prepared. This is what it could look like on Sunday. 7 Eyewitness News First Alert meteorologists are tracking the storm where winds could reach up to 35 to 45 miles per hour and gusts up to 75 miles per hour. John Hitchcock of the National Weather Service says this is a slam dunk windstorm. The strength of the winds are some of the highest he has seen in years. In this case, the forecast models we use to forecast the weather have been very, very consistent on this event for days and days. So uh, we put the high wind watches and warnings out very early with a lot of lead time uh, to try and give people as much heads up as possible. But there's still time to prepare. The worst of the winds will start early Sunday afternoon. Before then, walk around your house to see if there are any loose limbs, roof shingles, or other supplies. Anytime you get over 50, you're in the danger zone of bad things happening. Move your car if it's parked near or under a tree. The winds are forecasted uh, to be strong enough that it could take um, healthy trees. Uh, it really is a matter of how the winds hit them. Keep trash and garbage totes inside until Monday. We're asking residents, uh, if they can, to hold off on putting your totes out uh, until e even as, as late as uh, early Monday morning. With such high winds, the main concern for Sunday is power outages. Bringing down trees, power lines, and causing potential for property damage. Erie County officials are urging people to stay inside and stay off the roads if you can. Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News.